Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Gloria MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So today we are having a new release for the printables. This week we are releasing some new inserts for the pocket size. So I decided that I would pop in here and show you the new inserts. I've actually added a lot of them into my own pocket ring setup and so since they aren't filled in yet I thought it might be a good time to show you what they look like. So I do keep my pocket rings planner in one of my corduroy pouches. This is from my shop. I have them in five other colors. This one right here is the dusty rose one and I feel like it matches pretty nicely with the current planner that I'm using and that is the Giulio pocket rings. This is pocket XL so it does have the 28 millimeter rings in it and the color is the matte blush croco. So I do have flip throughs on my channel where I have shown you my previous setups in here so if you guys want to see that, um, I do have it on my channel. But today I am going to flip through this a little bit and show you all the new pocket rings inserts that we have in the shop. So all of these are printables. They are available um, in the pocket ring section or you can find them also in the new releases section of the shop. And when you make an order in my shop, you can always use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. So let's quickly get started. So my rings are pretty stuffed at the moment. Um, I added some dashboards, so they have chunked it up quite a bit. That's the thing about um, adding those vinyl dashboards. They do add quite a bit of bulk, but I have also added a lot of the new releases that we have in the shop for the pocket size printables. So let's get started with my first section. I have the petite fleur section covers on pretty much all of my sections. I like to use these um, just to help me divide up sections in this planner so I find that really helpful. Um, we do have another uh, collection called the Wildflower Collection which looks like this and they have a different set of categories so um, you can actually mix and match them together for your setup. But my monthlies, weeklies, and dailies and a few other inserts do come with their own title page but I just switched it out for this. So in this section, I do have my month on two pages. I have the Monday start at the moment, but I'm thinking that I'm, since I'm almost out of um, these inserts, I have only two months left here, um, I will switch to the Sunday start that we also have in the shop just so that it's co consistent with some of the other planner calendars that I have. But I've been in this planner since August of 2023. So I just took out those pages and kept the beginning of this year in here and this is not a new insert in the shop but I have been using it consistently for the whole entire month so this is this month and I just write in my important events so that's the monthly that is not new but you can still grab that in the shop now let's move on to the weekly section because this section is new for me normally I just use a monthly and daily for the pocket size but I've started to add some weekly trackers and weekly inserts in here so this is one of the new inserts that we have in the shop this is a weekly tracker so essentially what you have here is the days that go from Monday to Sunday then you have columns that go all the way down and you can write in all of your reoccurring tasks for the week. I've also been using this as a TV show tracker so if I want to know like, when a certain show comes on I use this tracker. So I have put a bunch of those in here to use within my weekly. This is the new weekly that I have added to the shop. This is a horizontal weekly. So we have this in personal and some of the other sizes in the shop too and I find it really helpful for functional planning, you have the weekdays on one side, so Monday to Friday. The weekend here is on the opposite side, and then you do have a space for extra notes, which is great. So I like that insert. And then after that, I have put that with my dailies. So I love these dailies. These are not new in the shop, but I consistently use it. So it's a time daily. It goes from six to 11 on the schedule, and then you have a really long to-do list. So I use these quite a bit, both in my pocket and personal. So you can kind of see how I like to use those. 
Um, I've also recently made that in personal wide size, so you can find that in the shop now too. My next section is my list section. So I just have my lists in here, and again, these are available in my shop. These are not new though, um, but I always have like a to-do list section in here. At the moment, I'm using it for shopping lists. And then if we go into the next section, this is my inbox section. And this insert here is the new one for summer. So I've been creating these grid floral notes. We have a spring one that I've done. And then this one is the summer one. This is the golden blush. So you can see that we have the pretty florals there with the kind of peachy tones, which I really love for the summer. And I feel like the colors match this planner pretty well. So you can see that on each of the pages, the florals kind of vary. Some are on the top, some are on the side, the bottom here. So I kept that in there for my inbox just to write in any notes, but I still have also the original pink scallop. So that one just has a scallop on it. So I just kept a handful of those in there as well for extra note. Now we have my home section. So in my home section, I still use the yearly tracker. So it goes from January to December, and then you have all your monthly reoccurring tasks. So I'm still using that for my Fly Lady Control Journal. That's in my home section. But I recently added this. This is my health section because sometimes I do bring this to the doctors with me. So I've added the daily monthly tracker. So it goes from one to 31. Again, not a new insert, but that is something that I use to keep track of my healthy habits, like my medication or vitamins. And then I've also added this. This is the life in pixels. So this is what it looks like. It goes from January to December on one side, one to 31 down this side. And you can use this insert in a number of different ways. So I have left it open here where you can put in your key yourself. So you can use um, various mild liners or numbers to help you mark whatever you want. And you can use this as a workout tracker, a mood tracker. You can even use this as a cycle tracker. And then you have some space here for some extra notes if you wish. So I've added that in here. And then over here, I also have the pocket version of the health log, the medicine log, and then also the doctor visits, just so that I can keep track of that information. Um, if I am at the doctor, I have that information with me handy. The medication log is especially good if you um, have lots of allergies, things like that. Um, having that information somewhere in your planner will be helpful in case something does happen. And then I do have a very small section here for work. You guys know that I am a romance author and an author assistant. So I did put my book log in here. So you just have a space to write the number of books that you've read the book title, author, and then the star rating. And then also in here, I've added the book reviews. So you have a book per page for the pocket size. You have a space to write in the book title, the author, your review, the star rating at the bottom, and then whether you completed it or not. So I just like to keep track of that because sometimes I do take out my paperback book or my Kindle with me. So if I am reading out and about, um, I do like to make some notes and things like that so that I can transfer it into my reading journal, which is actually right here beside me. I don't take this out with me because it's an A5 size and it's a little bit too big for that. Another really important section in this planner is my finance section. And because these are new inserts that I just added, I feel like I can finally show you the section. So I do keep an income tracker here. I have one for each month and then I'll write the date, whatever the description is, as well as the amount. So I like to keep track of that because I do uh, use this as my wallet. All of my cards are actually in here at the back. And then most importantly, I do have an expense tracker. So I do keep track of like post office drop offs and things like that. And I do put the receipts here at the back. You can see that I have quite a bit that I need to file away. So I do keep track of that information in here. And then the last insert that I do have in here for this section is the online order tracker. So if I do order online, um, I like to make a note of when I purchased it, when it shipped and if I received it because sometimes I do order from like Japan or something like that and it takes a while. So I just wanna make sure that I am keeping on track 
And then in here, this is my reference section. So I do have a password tracker and this is just for me um, to remind myself in case I forget a password. So I have the website, the username, the email, as well as the password. And then at the back here, I just have some contacts, but those are filled in. So I'm not going to show you that. So that is everything that I do have in this planner. As you guys can see, it's pretty stuff with all the new inserts that I've added, but I think they are going to be super functional for me. And I feel like having this will help me keep track of it better because I am going to be having it with me on the go. I do keep this in my purse always. So that way, if I need to transfer it to a different planner, I can do so without any problem because everything would be logged in here. So those are the new printables for the pocket size that we are having in the shop. Um, I do have a handful that I've made for the personal and personal wide size. So those are also available now in the shop. I am planning on making more printables for the Ringbound planners for my shop. So let me know what size you want me to do next. I don't have Franklin Covey Compact currently in my shop. So that is a size that I am thinking about bringing to the shop. So let me know if you do use that size. Um, I'm also going to be revamping the personal wide inserts because I am going to be moving into that size very soon. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but I've had some requests for B6 ring inserts as well. So let me know if you want um, B6 rings, personal wide or A6 rings next because um, that will help me gauge the interest for these printables. So thanks so much for watching. Like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these printables, go ahead and use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. I will do a formal flip through of this pocket rings planner once I start using it a little bit more. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.